Miss Dolly Parton. Thank you. Yes, I cook your breakfast and send you to work. I mend your clothes, chess, and I iron your shirts. There's so much thought in these things that I do. And all of the time, chess, I'm loving you. I greet you each evening, Chess, when you come home. I miss you so badly while you are gone. And if I make you happy, then I'm happy too. And all of the time, Chess, I'm loving you. Chess, I rock your babies and teach them to talk. I care for your wife, Chess, because she can't walk. I do all the things she's not able to do. And all of the time, Chess, I'm loving you. I love you so much, but your wife needs you, Chess. And you'll never be mine, and I'll never ask. I know you love her and I love her too but all of the time Chess I'm loving you and I look at you Chess and you look at me but what I am thinking Chess must never be I love you so much and it's hard to resist I want you but I, I couldn't take you from sis. 
But all of the time, Chess, I'm loving you. Thank you, darling. Isn't that a beautiful song? Real, real fine. And that's the number she wrote herself called Chance. Come on over. I want to get you to help me uh, sing a duet song here, if you will. I slipped up. I forgot. <laughs> that's a real pretty song. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, uh... When asked who her hero is, Reba always answers with one name. She's a singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman who showed Reba just how big a country singer can dream. Please welcome to the stage Reba's beloved inspiration, the fabulous Miss Dolly Parton. You did not get that dress at Dillard's, did you? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I tell you what, you would not believe the cat fights we've been in backstage trying to figure out which one of Reba's great songs to do. And I picked this one, and I hope you'll like it. How blue. in your chest Lord, I swear to you I'm dying Cause my mind won't let my body rest How blue can you make me How long till I heal How can I go on loving you when you're gone
And if I cry anymore, I'll go blind. Love, there ain't no relief for this missing you grief. How long can you torture my mind? Oh, oh how blue can you make me? And how long oh, 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 till I heal? How long can I go on loving you when you're gone? How blue oh, oh, can I feel? How long can I go on loving you when you're gone? How blue oh, oh, can I feel? How blue, how blue can I feel? If you think that you are going to sit there on your country butt all night and do nothing, you got another thing coming. Get over here. I want to stand on this step so I can be a giant, too. <laughs> Why don't we sing them in the commercial? You want to? You sing the melody and I'll do something. When asked who her hero is, Reba always answers with one name. She's a singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman who showed Reba just how big a country singer can dream. Please welcome to the stage Reba's beloved inspiration, the fabulous Miss Dolly Parton. Beautiful. You did not get that dress at Dillard's, did you? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I tell you what, you would not believe the cat fights we've been in backstage trying to figure out which one of Reba's great songs to do. And I picked this one, and I hope you'll like it. How blue. in your chest Lord I swear to you I'm dying cause my mind won't let my body rest how blue can you make me how long till I heal how can I go on loving you when you're gone If I cry anymore, I'll go blind. Love, there ain't no relief for this missing you grief. How long can you torture my mind? Oh, oh how blue can you make me?
think that you are going to sit there on your country butt all night and do nothing, you got another thing coming. Get over here. I want to stand on this step so I can be a giant, too. <laughs> Why don't we sing them in the commercial? You want to? You sing the melody and I'll do something. And shaking me up so that all I really 
Are you listening anymore? Hello, God. If we're still on speaking terms, can you help me like before? I have questioned your existence. My resistance leaves me cold. Can you help me go the distance? Hello, God. This whole world has gone to pieces. Can we fix it? Is there time? Hate and violence just increases. We're so selfish, cruel and blind. We fight and kill each other in your name, defending you. Do you love some more than others? We're so lost and confused. people always wanted to. When I was a teenager, when Elvis Presley first came on the scene, you know how everybody just was freaking out over Elvis. He was the sexiest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Of course, we didn't have a television when Elvis came out, but there was an old lady who lived down the road a good ways from us. And uh, me and a bunch of my sisters, some of my girlfriends, sneaked off from home. We knew we was going to get in trouble because they didn't want us to see all this sexy stuff. And they didn't want to slip and all come home. And, but I remember, I don't know when you folks first saw Elvis on television, but there was a show called The Ed Sullivan Show back home. And he was the first one that had the Beatles on, and he had all the famous groups that would, you know, come out. And he kind of really set a lot of trends in television there. But on this particular occasion, when Elvis was just the hottest thing going, they wouldn't let him show him from the waist down because all the, you know, the Elvis, the pelvis stuff, you know. So they shot him from the waist up. But they thought that kept us from seeing it in our minds, not us girls. I saw that night after night after night. I knew exactly what he was doing. But anyway, so after uh, I saw him once, all those homely, hairy-legged boys back home just never held that much fascination to me after that. So, <laughs> so I went back home, and I'd get up on the hill above the barnyard, and I'd pretend like I was Elvis. I'd thought about Elvis had he been a woman. Especially one like me. If I'd have been on television, they'd have to shot me from the neck up back then, right? <laughs> well, anyhow, this is sort of how I used to entertain them chickens and hogs and stuff. And 
This is sort of how I looked. God knows I ain't no Elvis. I never will be another one, but I thought this might be fun. And he might be watching us. He might get a kick out of it. So this is how I pictured Elvis back then if he'd have been a girl. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Don't jive me now. I've got a little number I'd like to do for you tonight, but before I do, I want to make sure I've got a few things working. Make sure I've got all this music. Okay. Make sure I... Oh, good grief, if we get these to roll, I'm going to be here all week. Oh, that's okay. Oh, well, that was hot. I can even see if I can get my lip working. You folks on the balcony and in the back, you can't see this. Come back to my dressing room after the show, I'll do it for you, of course. story about an old man that I grew up knowing and loving in the Smoky Mountains. I guess every kid has certain people that they remember more than other people when they're growing up, but he made me always feel grown up and kind of special, and that's one of the reasons I loved him. And he's only living in my song, but I'd like to share that memory with you. Now, he lived by the apple orchard in this little old orchard shack. His real name was Jackson Taylor, but I called him Applejack. The old Applejack was loved by everyone he ever knew. Of course, Applejack picked apples, but he picked the banjo, too. Play a song for me, Applejack. Applejack, play a song for me, and I sing. Play a song for me, Applejack. Applejack, play a song that your banjo plays. I'd go down to Applejack's just almost every day. I went sit and we'd drink Applejack that old. Jack and me, and then he'd take his banjo down, and then he 
<laughs> Dolly, you, uh, you also have recorded another song recently, and, and it's a beautiful song. Why don't you go sing Dumb Blonde? Uh, well, I mean, no, I mean, I don't do think what? that. Uh, dumb, uh, no, that's not the way I should put it. Uh, wait a minute now, I'll think of it. Dolly Parton recorded a song called Dumb Blonde. Yes. She is about to sing it for you. Thank you, right Dolly. Now, Dolly. <laughs>
Good evening. This year, there are three nominations for Best Original Song. The first was written by a former Oscar nominee who musically told the world what it was like to work from nine to five. This year, she's nominated for a song from the film Transamerica. It's called Traveling Through, and we're delighted to have her here tonight. Please welcome a woman I have admired my whole life, the amazing Dolly Parton. Spirit's willing, let's travel it through. 
the 78th Annual Academy Award. For hours as a kid Dangle my feet from an old flat bridge Seeing myself in the water below Shatter my image with the stones I throw Shatter my image with the stones I throw A long time gone and a long time ago When I shattered my image with the stones I throw The world is cruel and people are cold They shatter my image with the stones they throw Shatter my image with the stones you throw Well, I'm far from perfect, but I ain't all bad It hurts me more than it makes me mad We all do things that we don't want to We all throw stones that we shouldn't throw You shatter my image with the stones you throw A long time gone and a long time ago When I shattered my image with the stones I throw The world is cruel Shatter my image with the stones you throw Shatter my image with the stones you throw hey! If you live in a glass house Don't throw stones Don't shatter my image Till you look at your own Look at your reflection in your house if your own's full of trash Stay out of my closet If your own's full of trash A long time ago And a long time ago When I shattered my image With the stones I right throw The world is cruel And people are cold You shattered my image With the stones you throw Shattered my image With the stones you throw Shattered my image With the stones you throw Don't shatter my image With the stones you throw Well, hello, everybody. Wow. When I saw that W-O-W, -W, I thought that stood for weird old women. <laughs> I guess it does in my case. I just turned 75 a few weeks ago, and I guess I should be depressed about that, but I'm not. Well, maybe just a little. Anyway, it is truly an honor for me to be with you tonight for the Women of Wonder 2021 Virtual Gala. Now, I know your message is that whole health must include mental health. And tonight's honorees, Nancy Glazier and Vicki Goodman, truly exemplify that important message. Now, I'm often told that I always look so happy. But to be honest, that's the Botox. <laughs> well, not all of it. Some of it is, though. But seriously, we all experience moments of anxiety or depression at one time or another. And I believe that it's how we handle those moments that ultimately defines us. Now, I want to thank my friends, Andrea and Peter Roth, for inviting me to be with you tonight. And I'd like to dedicate the song I'm going to sing to everyone at UCLA for providing such an incredible service to the mental health of our world. But before I sing the song, I want to tell you why, when, and where I wrote it. Now, back in the early 70s, I was trying to leave a show that I had been a part of for several years, and I wanted to go out on my own. But the fellow I was working with, he was having none of it. And I just remember at the time feeling so sad and depressed, and over a long period of time, actually. And certainly, when I was trying to really break away, it was very, very hard. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't think straight. But... Through much prayer and the support of friends, I finally stood my ground and I walked away. 
And on my way home, I wrote this song, and I hope that it'll lift you up like it did me. Now, after I'm finished with this song, I've got to get out of here because this ain't my only job. Anyway, this is a song called Light of a Clear Blue Morning. It's been a long, dark night And I've been away for the morning It's been a long, hard fight But I see a brand new day of dawning I've been looking for the sunshine Cause I ain't seen it in so long but everything's gonna work out just fine And everything's gonna be alright It's been all wrong Cause I can see the light of a clear blue morning I can see the light of a brand new day hey, I can see the light of a clear blue morning and everything's gonna be alright, it's gonna be okay It's been a long, long time Since I've known the taste of freedom And those clinging vines That had me bound, well, I don't need them I've been like a captured eagle you know, an eagle's born to fly And now that I have won my freedom Like an eagle, I am eager for the sky And I can see the light of a clear blue morning I can see the light of a brand new day hey, I can see clear blue morning and everything's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay everything's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay
there's always a pet, and usually it's a puppy dog. And I'd like to do a song for you now about a little puppy dog that I had when I was growing up. And its name was Cracker Jack. Here's the story. Once I had a little dog, I named him Cracker Jack. He had a spot around one eye that looked just like a patch. His legs were way too long, and he was awkward as could be. Why, he wasn't much to look at, but he looked all right to me. I'd found him by the riverbank, just wandering about. He was cold and hungry, and his ribs were sticking out. I snapped my fingers, whistled when he came, I picked him up. Of course, I was just a kid, and Cracker Jack was just a pup. So I took him home and fed him till he couldn't eat no more. And I took him to my room and put a blanket on the floor. After that, beside my bed is where he'd always sleep. And each night in my prayers, I'd pray the Lord his soul to keep. Cracker Jack, the best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack. But he was more than that. A playmate, a companion, he was love and understanding. That was Cracker Jack, the best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack. But he was more than that. Why, everything a kid could want I had in Cracker Jack. The old Cracker Jack would run to meet me after school each day. And he'd jump and wag his tail and look at me as if to say, I love you. And I missed you, and I'm glad you're home again. Now I knew just how he felt, cause me and Cracker Jack was friends. And through the woods and fields, we would often roam about. And when we got in trouble, we would help each other out. Why, I could run almost as fast as Cracker Jack could run. We had a lot in common, and we had a lot of fun. He was always with me when I was growing up. We shared each other's good times and we shared each other's love. He only lives in memory now, but often I think back to the days of childhood, the days of Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack, the best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack, but he was more than that, a playmate, a companion. He was love and understanding that was Cracker Jack. The best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack. But he was more than that. Why, everything a kid could want I had in Cracker Jack. In Cracker Jack. Come on, boy. <laughs> Eyes. Teardrops are falling from your Spanish eyes. Oh, I'm supposed to cry. Okay. Please. Oh, please, don't you cry. No, this is supposed to be serious. I know that it is, senor, but this is just like Dios, and I swear that it don't mean goodbye. Well, I'm going to sing mine straight. Yeah, do. So... <laughs> I'll return Bringing you all the love Your heart can hold Quick Say si, 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 senor Say you and your Spanish eyes Will wait for me
you go away to leave? Did she tell you I don't love you? Did you really believe? On the floor, by the door, I'll be down on my knees. For the only way out is to walk over me. Now, you don't hear and you don't feel. But I know you can see And just to prove how I love you I'll crawl at your feet Just look down at the ground Where your footprints will be Cause the only way out is to walk But see that the only way out is to walk over me. Yes, the only way out is to walk over me. Thank you very much. It's always a real thrill for me to introduce this beautiful little lady. She's going to sing for you a number one country song she wrote and recorded, titled Joshua, Miss Dolly Parton.
that shack and his beard and his hair was long and black and he was the biggest man I'd ever seen. Joshua, thank you. We'd get up before sun up to get the work done up. We'd work in the fields till the sun had gone down. And we've stood and we've cried as we've helplessly watched a hailstorm beating our crops to the ground. Times were bad. No amount of money could buy from me the memories that I have of them. No amount of money could pay me to go back, live through it again. I've seen Daddy's hands break open and bleed, and I've seen him work till he's stiff as a board. We couldn't afford Anything at all Was more than we had In the good old days When times were bad and We've got up before And found ice on the floor Where the wind would blow snow Through the cracks in the wall
Traveling man. I'm really gonna miss that traveling man. 